and the epidermis is over here, but I, I'm not going to risk like rotating it in case it freaks out on me. So what's going on here? Nothing too exciting, huh? I can take this one. Okay. So, I mean, this just looks like, I mean, there's a cystic space in the center. It kind of looks like there's some tears in the blank today. Yeah. Uh, so this might be one that's uh, kind of a, a distractor. Uh, it looks more like just a, a ruptured, ruptured cyst, a ruptured folliculitis. It's pretty huge. So I'm, I'm yeah. Very good. Yeah. Ruptured cyst and ruptured follicle, ruptured folliculitis, all this furuncle, all the same spectrum of microscopic findings. But usually, you know, follicles can be smaller and superficial. Cyst, big and deep, sometimes I can't tell. But it's the same spectrum of things that's happening. It is actually an important thing to recognize because, yeah, we see these regularly and they take it out as it's a cyst. We see it's a bunch of granulation tissue, fat and necrosis here, scar and kind of young scar and granulation tissue. And then there's fat necrosis. There's, you know, more dense fibrosis. There's some giant cells in here, lymphs, plasma cells. Sometimes eosinophils, neutrophils. Uh, then you get big, nice granulomas, and then the granulomas are kind of almost palisaded around a big cystic space. And then in the cystic space, we got keratin debris. So the mixture of findings is not very specific. The key is finding the keratin flakes, which sometimes can be very rare and focal. And there's times I'll go occasionally, usually you can see them on H&E if you just look carefully. I've occasionally even done like a keratin stain because I thought something might be keratin, but I wasn't sure. And I wanted to, to make sure because the differential was you know, infection or something else. So that actually comes up a lot where if I, if I take away all the keratin here and I put this granulation tissue, granulomas, especially if there's a lot of neutrophils, then our biggest differential is infection, like, right? Like fungal infection or an abscess or something. Uh, Cause I mean, look, there's, you know, giant cells, granuloma, and neutrophils. And we said granulomas and neutrophils infection until you prove otherwise. So yeah, there could still be coexistent infection here, but a lot of times we see abscess type changes around the ruptured cyst, probably just secondary to the keratin. The body has a real brisk inflammatory response to keratin. Um, you know, there may be sometimes where there is a secondary little bit of infection because cysts and follicles get bacteria in them from the floor of the skin, it ruptures, it infects the the uh, you know that area but it's probably been cured by the removal so i don't always if i see keratin debris i i don't routinely usually do bug stains i may sometimes if it's really brisk like abscess i may say there's associated abscess uh in a comment say it's it's there's abscess it could be coexistent infection if it persists you may want to repeat biopsy for cultures so uh, other people may disagree and may always do bug stains I, I feel like that's overkill for me but i i wouldn't say it's wrong to do i just i think different people have different thresholds depends on the clinical scenario right so finding the keratin is helpful finding a cyst wall is helpful so um so yeah here no big deal but there are times where like the differential is this versus paniculitis or something else so finding that keratin debris really can solve the case saying, oh, I've got an explanation for why this super robust inflammation and fat necrosis is going on. Because otherwise, uh, over here, you might say, yeah, this could be some inflammatory paniculitis or something else. Okay. But here, just a ruptured uh, epidermal inclusion cyst, aka epidermoid cyst, aka follicular infundibular cyst. Now, how do I know? I can't see the lining. Just because that loose flaky keratin pattern is, that's the kind of cyst that grows that kind of keratin. So am I 100% sure it's that type of cyst? No, but it probably is. It's probably the follicular infundibular or epidermoid cyst that's making it because of the keratin flakes. All right.